what I wanted to go through first of all over the next five minutes is just a snapshot of your add-on uh, run through the solution solution features so your sort of five minute elevator pitch and focus on that and then we'll move on to the um, the everyday typical workflow so um, a snapshot of your add-on and run through the solution features for, uh, in five minutes so perfect okay excellent off you go so. cool. okay so the, f the first thing is I guess to show is what is the initial uh, connect process like. Okay. And so if you come from our website, www.clearjelly.net, you can click on the try now button that allows you to immediately get things going. Excellent. And I'll quickly go through the process now. So if mm -hmm. you click on, on try now, uh, you get to a registration screen. Um, I will not um, go to that screen. Um, at the moment because that mm -hmm. just means you have to fill out a few of your account details. So I guess that is all um, a, a quite apparent. So this is this screen yes. here where you fill out your details. I will spare you that. I will just log on. So to initiate uh, the process, you just log on with your username and password or with your social media account, mm -hmm. either as possible. So in this case, I'm just clicking here on the LinkedIn button to authenticate myself using my LinkedIn details. Excellent. Now I'm on the main screen. And to initiate the process, you just click on uh, connect to zero. Mm -hmm. You select your company or companies. In this case, I just use the demo company. Mm -hmm. Now we can see the connect is uh, enabled. Excellent. So now this new organization is available here. And the only thing you have to do is click the create or recreate in case you've already done it before model button and that will give you access to your data. Excellent. So let's have a look at now how we can use this data. So this is now as I mentioned before, Clear Jelly has a variety of front-end options. Yes. Um, so I, I would like to start with a very simple one, which is the option for interactive dashboards. It's also referred to as Power BI. Here we're using an existing add-on that's provided as uh, by Microsoft, um, free of charge, okay. basic version, yep. uh, which allows you to create um, interactive dashboards, quite nice ones, mm -hmm. um, using the clear jelly data so the only thing you have to do is um, we provide a sample dashboard you just put in your uh, your details the clear jelly details and then you get access to the sample dashboard okay or you can also start from scratch i'll show you both options in this case just to show you an initial give you an initial look and feel so this is how um, a sample dashboard looks like so here we've got one for uh, the finance side mm -hmm. and we have another one for sales mm -hmm. so the users can just click on the respective dashboard that they want. Um, so this here shows our sales data. Um, I've got maps where as a user, I can uh, zoom in to the level um, that I want to see my the, the regional um, distribution of my of my sales. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And then I've got other elements like here. Heat map, which shows you um, how do your products uh, sell? What are your most important products? And if you if you click on them, mm -hmm. um, you will see you see the details. So for for DFD, we we sold five thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. And if you click on them, every other detail automatically adapts. So you can see for that the revenues in months one were six thousand five hundred, and it also gives you a share of the total. Yes. And all the other ind indicators will adapt as well. So the oh, average wow. sale for FD was four hundred ninety-five dollars. You made two sales, um, and those are the transactions we, we, we discussed before. Yes. What are the the options to draw through and get the transaction level so you can exactly see what are the two transactions for the FD. Mm -hmm. If I click on PMD, the whole thing now changes to PMD. So we see what were the, what was the data there, higher average sale, number of sales, where were they sold, and then also wow. how does it fit in, um, in with the other sales. That's excellent. The interesting thing is now, so this can either be a, a fairly locked down dashboard, mm -hmm. but if you want to, and if, you, if the users have the credentials, they can also completely change that. So they can say, all right, that's a nice detail, but I would like to see now um, how uh, did this data vary by, um, by other details? Mm -hmm. and you can see on the right-hand side, I hope you can see this on your screen. So you've got now your entire data model, all the details are available to you. Mm -hmm. And the only thing um, you need to do is to drag and drop um, the particular detail either in an existing um, dashboard element or create a new one. Okay. So, for example, if you want to add the uh, organization name here to the to this detail, which shows you the transactions, you just drag and drop the organization name into 
into the um, into the item, mm -hmm. and the organization name is now automatically here shown as another detail. So this just shows the flexibility. So if you're um, a designer user, you can completely um, control uh, and change the display of your data. Yes. Wow. Yeah, that's it's just one option. You know, yes. every every detail here can be customized to your requirements. If you want a different color here, um, you can just change uh, the color here to a different color and also change any other detail um, of the environment. So if you don't want to go to postal code here, um, which which we are doing at the moment, you can just drag and drop, for example, the region or the country or whatever other detail your data model already provides mm -hmm. and change it um, to that. So this is just a bit of an idea of um, how the dashboarding works. Mm -hmm. uh, what's important here is, again, the ease of use of integrating other sources. This is now, this is now providing quite interesting insight into your zero data, but let's suppose I would like to now add my Google data to it. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is uh, you can now just say get data mm -hmm. and you've got a variety of data sources that you can immediately integrate. So this could be a variety of different uh, database technologies. It mm -hmm. could be cloud-based um, data storage solutions or existing standard services, like for example, your Facebook data, your Google Analytics data, your Salesforce data, more complex things like statistical um, information, uh, your data from your uh, email campaigns, mm -hmm. um, US systems, so really nearly unlimited variety of data sources. Let's start with something that's typically relevant for anyone, the Google Analytics data. So I would like to know, to my Google sales, track and display a nice way, how did my um, Google Analytics or my website analysis data, how did this perform? So I just now confirmed that I'm connecting to, uh, to Google. Mm -hmm. Now you can see here um, the Google Analytics, which is already linked to my account. It came up. If, if this wasn't linked, you, you would need to put in your Google um, accounts. In my case, this is linked, so I can see what are the, the items that are linked with my accounts. And I'm yep. choosing now the manager, the website. Mm -hmm. And now you've got every detail that Google Analytics provide, provides mm -hmm. at your disposal. So we can just go down here. It takes a little bit to load because it is quite significant. So this is really all of your website yes. uh, data. And you can now say, okay, I would like to analyze my pages. I would like to see um, what were the page views, how long did people spend. I would like to see the, the name of the page. Um, in addition, I would like to see what time did they come. And let's say another one is what platform did they use. So I would like to see by the mobile device uh, model that they were using. Mm -hmm. So on the right side, you can see here the view that you're getting. So you can see uh, the page, uh, the, the mobile device that was used, mm -hmm. the number of page views, the time on the page, and the date. Wow. So let's uh, we are happy with that. Uh, as, as you see, you can mm -hmm. use really whatever detail you want. Let's get the data in as well. Mm -hmm. So once you've selected what you want to see, so you just click load and that's it. Yeah. So now you will see this new source is, a, is another source on your right side here. Okay. And um, what we have already is we have the, in this case, zero sales data. Yeah. We have zero finance data. We have targets where you can maintain your targets. And so we're dealing a lot with, um, with dashboard items like, um, like indicators. Yes. And typically here you want to create targets and say, okay, my sales target is X. Yes. Uh, extends target is why, so you can maintain all those in, in the target data source, mm -hmm. and also directly from here. Mm -hmm. Or we have now what we just added, the, the majority website data yes. um, available. So we can either now put this directly where we um, in one of the existing ones. So we just say, okay, I would like to see the page views. Yes. Which doesn't look too nice at the moment. Um, and we've got a variety of ways how we can display this. So this could be either a horizontal chart, um, this could be a line, this could be um, areas and a lot of other charts. This could also yes. be just a number, so just a number displayed in a, in a nice way. Okay. Um, and that can be now combined with everything else. So let's say we want to see, let's go back to the um, to horizontal chart. You want to see that our, our, our pages have performed, so just drag the pages now into the equation mm -hmm. and now we can see what were the most visited pages yes. um, on our website and I can see the event page was pretty strong with 420 visits and then it goes down to all the other pages on my website. So in 
I don't know, two minutes, yeah. we were able to integrate um, our zero data and the visualization mm -hmm. of our zero data with um, Google Analytics data. And in the same way, it works for all the other solutions 